The AST is a hierarchical representation of the program's structure. Each node in the tree represents a specific construct. For example, a function node might contain child nodes for the function body. And within that body, you might find variable assignment nodes. These can be broken down even further. For instance, an expression node could have two children, the left operand and the right operand, with the operator itself serving as the parent node that defines how the operands interact. After parsing, the next stage is semantic validation. Here, the compiler walks through the abstract syntax tree to ensure the code makes logical sense. It checks for things like assigning values to variables that haven't been declared, using functions incorrectly, or performing invalid type operations. If this stage fails, that's when you'll see compiler errors such as variable not defined or incompatible types. The final step is code generation. The validated abstract syntax tree is passed to the code generator, which produces assembly language, a human-readable form of machine code. The assembler then converts this assembly into actual machine instructions. And finally, the linker combines all compiled pieces into a complete executable program. If you'd like to learn how to build your own compiler from scratch, check the video description for Daniel McCarthy's Build a C Compiler from Scratch course. A step-by-step -step guide that covers every concept demonstrated in this video in full detail. This video course has sold hundreds of copies and has fantastic feedback.